What is going on? Bitwise guy here, and today we're going to be going over function pointers in Rust. So, first of all, what is a function pointer? A function pointer is actually very simple. Um, on the left hand side, we have a variable. So, for example, let's just call this one our variable here. So, uh, variable underscore one. And all a function pointer is, is if you imagine um, that this box on the right hand side here is our function and it contains just a bunch of code and uh, let's just, we'll just call it like example so this is our example function I'm just gonna write ex so this is our example function and it has a lots of code in it now normally we would call example just simply by saying uh, ex ex and we would <clears throat> use parentheses to denote that it's a function and um, in our case Rust, it would be like a semicolon, which looks like a smiley face, but um, but yeah, but that would basically be how we call our function. But let's just say, for example, that we actually wanted to pass our function around. So we wanted to use our function inside of another function. So essentially, what a, fun what a function pointer is, it, it's a variable that is pointing to our function over here, to the address in memory uh, where our function lives. So what we can essentially do in terms of syntax is we can say variable one, and we can call it, even though it's calling this function over here. And you'll have to excuse my really terrible... But let's jump into some code right now. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll have a look at how this actually works in terms of uh, Rust syntax. So let's go ahead and we'll open up, um, in my case, uh, VS Code. And let's get straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new function. And uh, as always, we're just going to create a hello world function. Uh, it's going to take no parameters and it's going to have no return type. Now, what our function is going to basically do is, it's going to be a really simple function. It's just going to say uh, println, and um, we're just going to say hello world, as we normally do when we're just experimenting with something that we need to print out to the console. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do is, we're going to come up to here, and we're going to say let uh, x, because I like the letter x, is equal to hello underscore world. And notice how I didn't use um, the... Um, the parameter braces, whatever you call those smooth, round looking braces. Um, but essentially, the difference between a function pointer in Rust and uh, actually calling a function is the fact that I don't pass it any parameters and I also don't tell it there are going to be any parameters. So, as you can see here, when I put this here, uh, my IntelliSense says I would be calling the function, um, which would be expecting a return type. Uh, and here I'm simply assigning the function uh, to the variable. Alright, so let's go ahead and compile and run our code. So we'll say sudo cargo run. And as you can see here, we've got no output and we've also uh, got no problems with our code. So we'll go back to our um, code here and let's actually call the function. So there's two ways we could call this function. We could say hello world, which would be calling the original function. So uh, let's do that first just to prove that it works. So we'll say sudo cargo run. And as you can see, we get hello world output in the console just there. The next thing we can do is we can call x. So we can say x, and uh, since x is pointing uh, to the function hello world, uh, we can expect it to output the print line here. So hello world again. So let's just go ahead and try that. So we'll say reset just to clear the console, and we'll say pseudo cargo run, and as you can see, we have called our function. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, I know it was another really short one. In the next one we're going to be going over something that seems quite obvious, but I think it's worth going over anyway, which is comments in Rust. Um, so stick around for that, and then after that we're going to be doing if, loops, vectors, ownership, and so on and so forth. So uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.